Jamie, you're down in the middle of Surrey, you're coaching a national side, the national champions at uh, Year Seven. So, I mean, a few years ago, this might not have, you might not have thought you'd be doing this. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. It just shows what great work's being done in and around London area and down south. And it's things people don't hear about up north, you know, unless you, you really pay attention and, and dig down into it. But like you say, rugby league's really growing down here, and especially to win at Wembley. I mean, that's that's a real achievement. At, and to beat Castleford High, I mean, Castleford's a, a hotbed of rugby league. It's, uh, you know, they, they win it nearly every other year, and um, to beat them, I think it's a fantastic achievement. You've just been out on the field, you were putting them through a few drills. They were having a good run at you, weren't they? Yeah, they were, yeah, they, they showed no fear, and um, they've got some sense about the game. Obviously, a few union converts, but yeah, they showed great attitude out there. That's, that's the key thing to being a good rugby league player, is having a good attitude, and, and I can see why, why they won at Wembley. When you see a side like this, I mean, you've obviously done a few bits of outreach with, you know, Leeds Rhinos and, and back in the north. Do you notice any different? Are they any better? Are they any the worse? Or, you know, are they just as good? I think, you know, it's a little bit of difference. Obviously, the guys who come from Union tend to run a little bit lower, but that's about it. It's just, you know, making sure the skill levels are right and, uh, and picking those up. But it's just fantastic to see them playing it like this and obviously to see them win. I think it's just, it's just great for the game, you know. That's how you end up building up a strong professional game in London, I think, is, is through this. It's through, uh, through roots, you know, through the roots, get the roots growing and, and, the, and the tree will grow afterwards. And talking to Shane as well, he says these lads are really enjoying the game of rugby league. It's not something that they've just been forced to do and they play it because they have to. They've really enjoyed what they've done and I guess that's a, that's a real sort of tick in the, the rugby league column, isn't it? Yeah, you can see that with the infusion enthusiasm levels today they're very high they've got lots of energy and you can see they want to do things and, and, and that's great you know they're not being forced to play they're, they're doing it out of choice which is always good for the game and we all know it's a great game to play and a great game to watch as well as a former England captain how are you on expansion do you think that the game is doing the right things to sort of spread the game to make it more national yeah the game needs to be more national than down the M62 I think we may have gone about it the wrong way sometimes to um, you know put plant in the professional club first rather than I'm trying to sow the seeds of um, like this kind of the junior football. I think you know the junior rugby league's the way to go first, get that up and running. And I think it is a way to go expansion. But people have got to realise these are these are not two and three year events, uh, 20 and 30 years in the pipeline to to be able to you know to grow a professional rugby league club and get a foothold in what is a very competitive market, not just in sports but in entertainment as well. Does rugby league get a bit ahead of itself? I mean, you know, that you see expansion of Championship 1 for next year, and there have been a few, like you say, just teams sort of like plucked and put geographically somewhere. Do you think that we should be more patient and try and do the, the sort of, um, you know, the, the, the slow bird, like down in Surrey, you know, based on what this school has done, expand it slowly and when time is right? Yeah, I think that's just a key with anybody in life, really. I think people want results straight away. And with sport, I, d I just don't think you can get that. I think it, it takes time to develop it through the schools and get that kind of support basis for before you put a professional club down somewhere. I don't, I don't think um, you can just uproot and put a club down there like they do in America, you know, with American football. American football is already a national sport, whereas rugby league isn't. And um, I think it's this kind of work. You know, often the young son work really, you know, done by the um, the RFL guys and all the development guys, which is is key to be able the, the the game to be a success in London. And I guess you know some people don't like the game being taken away from what they know as the tradition in the heartlands and in, in the north. But maybe stories like this and the slow build of showing that it's not just being put in other areas, but being really successful in other areas will only help. Yeah, I think the short sighted people in every walk of life, isn't there? You know, and. Uh, I think it is important for a league to expand and to do it this way. This is the right way to do it. We're doing it the right way. It's great. It's exciting to be here and see this happening. It's, you know, it's, it's exciting for the World Cup and hopefully some of these guys will get some heroes from the World Cup um, in 2013. You know, maybe they'll see Sam Tompkins um, score the winning try at, at Wembley and, and um, you know, it'll inspire them to become professional players. So yeah, it's great to see this. I was going to say the World Cup is another another big event, isn't it, to, to show that people are interested in the sport in the south and not only will people come and travel to the semi-finals at Wembley but hopefully a few people from the south will go and sort of go and see what the game's all about. Yeah I think when you as a country when you hold a great sporting event you know like the Olympics or World Cups then it's about going and watching it no matter what. I'll tell you about the Olympics for me I went and watched the weightlifting I've never really watched weightlifting in my life I thought I fancy going and watching that it's, I admire the athletes you know the strength that they go and I went and watched it and had a fantastic time and I think people need to do that with the rugby 
rugby league. A lot of people watch it on TV and admire the athletes. And you know, I know other sports respects have a lot of respect for the athleticism and the skill levels of of the players. Now it's about time go see them in the flesh. Go see them on the world stage. Um, go see go see Fiji. Go see Papua New Guinea. Go go see England. Go see these guys in the flesh. Go see them and make sure you're part of it. And I'm really glad I went to Olympics. Uh, you know, me and my son went down it, and it was a fantastic occasion. People need to do that with the Rugby World Cup. You might not be here again for a while, so let's get there and watch it.